Hey, what's happening, guys? What I have got for you today is this beautiful power station from All Power. This is the All Powers R600. It is a uh, 300 watt hour. That's a uh, 11.86 amp hour based off the of 25.8 volts. So a uh, 300 watt hour, completely portable power station. Oh, and she's a big girl too. Um, this is 285 by 195 by 190 millimeters, and it weighs 5.8 kilograms, or right about 13 pounds. So, yeah, this is nice. So, in the box with this guy, you get a super thick and heavy duty AC charge cable. I'm trying to see if there's anything written on this cable. Yeah, this has um, hundred five C three hundred volt. Yes, this is really nice thick AC charge cable. You also get um what are these called? MC fours, the solar connectors. You get a solar connector that goes to an XT sixty plug. A uh, warranty card and the manual. So let's get in and take a closer look at this guy. Okay, what do you say we start out with the input, which can be found on the right side of the unit underneath this little pop up door right here, which kind of stays up. It doesn't give me a lot of confidence, but it does kind of stay up. So if we look here on the lid of the door, you see it says AC charge 100 to 2, 120 volts, 4 amp max, 220 to 240, 2 amp max, AC overload protector, <clears throat> and the solar input 12 volts to 60 volts at 12 amp max. And you can see, so we have a built-in IEC port, which means, you know, the uh, power supply is built into this thing as well. We have a nice circuit breaker and our XT60 there. That clicks into place really nice. Nothing on the back. Nothing on this side. And we can come around to the front. And take a look at the outputs. So our AC output, we have two of them right here. And they're those funky ones you see on all this. Yeah, they are what they are. So we have two of those 120, uh, 100 to 120 or 220 to 240 volt. They are 600 watt max with a 1200 watt surge. So that's for our AC. Now, we have USB-A down here and USB-C here. The USB-A is 5 volts at 3 amps, 9 volts at 2 amps, 12 volts at 1.5 for 36 watt max. The USB-C is 5, 9, 15 volts at 3 amps or 20 volts at 5 amps. Whoops, whoops, sorry, bumped the camera. A 200 watt max. And then we have the, uh, what they call a carport or... An older person, such as myself, might call it a cigarette adapter. That's 12 volts at 10 amps. And then we have these here as well that are 12 volts at 10 amps. Those are the uh, 2.1 millimeter barrel jacks. And, of course, you know, you got to have a light. So let me turn the light on the camera off here, and we'll turn the screen on. So we just press and hold that guy for a second, and it's up and running. You can see we are at 100%. Zero watt input, zero watt output. And we have uh, seven days remaining on this charge. Now one thing to also take note of, I don't know how well you can see that there. Maybe if I block some of that light. 
we have a wireless charge uh, output as well. So each of the individual outputs, for instance, you want to turn on the DC, you can press that button there. And now our DC is on, so these here, this here as well. Turn that off and I'll turn the AC on. And you hear the fan come up and you can see the fan there as well. And I will turn that off too. Now, I want to show you something that is super cool with this. And I think you'll get a kick out of it. Ready? Watch here on the DC. <laughs> of course nothing happened, right? All right. Watch again. You see DC is on. Now I've also turned on the AC. And there's the light as well. So how am I controlling this, you may ask? Well, through a simple phone app. If you uh, go into the manual, a couple pages in here, you will find these QR codes for downloading the app. And the app gives you information. 100% remaining time, 131 hours, 20 minutes, 5 days, 11 hours. Remaining power tells you your input or output. And we can switch our different inputs and outputs on as well. So, we say we plug something in here and give it a go. All right, what I got here is a big old heat gun. We'll plug into her. Turn our AC on. I'm gonna turn the heat gun on. Now I'm going to crank the heat level up on it. There it goes. We're going to the maximum here. Oh, and that shut her down. Did anybody see where it was when it was shut down? Okay, we had an E8. Error 8. Let's go into our book here. Error 8. I don't see it. Eat oh, overload. There it is. Overload protection. All right. Let's try again. Oops. Bump the camera again. Turn it on. There it goes. There's 280 degrees. We're at 180, 300 watts. 305. 306, 300, 313, just jacking her up there to see how, 340 watts, 500 watts, I'm up to 420 on the uh, heat gun, 442 watts, Did that, yeah, see we're getting an overload error. Now here's my question. Are we getting the same data on the phone? Yes, we are. Yes, we are indeed. Okay, I'll shut that off because nobody wants to listen to that crap anymore. Now another cool feature I want to show you here. Do you see right there where it says UPS? That's right, this device will work as an uninterruptible power supply. Let's uh, go back here. You can see, you can pause that and read it all if you like. But yeah, this works like a U uninterruptible power supply. 
But the best part is, you know, you can grab the handle and take it with you. Looking at the app again here, we have our different modes. These are our, our charge mode, mute mode, standard mode, fast mode, it's even standard. Eco mode, and then we have eco mode with automatic shutdown and extreme power mode. But yeah, these are all very, very cool. You can even change the frequency on the output for the U.S. or, you know, Europe, where we are in 50 hertz. Let's, uh, let's hook this up to the scope and see what our AC output looks like. So let's turn on the AC output. Give me a second to get ready. All right, I got a laptop plugged in there. You can see we're drawing about 40 watts. Yeah, ignore those transients. That's just noise. Nice, uh, nice little sine wave there. Frequencies. Yeah, frequencies come a little bit off, but that's uh that's just due to my setup. It's working fine. And so that's where we are with the all powers R six hundred. Don't really find anything that I don't particularly like about it. I would have to say my favorite parts would be the wireless charge pad where, you know, you can just set your phone. And also, you know, going with the phone, the whole app thing to get a report on it. And but I think the major selling point is it works as an uninterruptible power supply as well. So I would like to thank All Powers for sending this out to us for your charge for our consideration. And I'd like to thank you for watching the video. If you liked it, I hope you'll give me a thumbs up. Feel free to comment, share, and don't forget to subscribe. That's it. I'm out. Peace.